Did you know that in microgravity you can better study the processes of foams formation and suppression? Foams are ubiquitous in our daily lives. The processes to produce most food, detergents and plastics depend on them. Here on ground, gravity strongly influences the dynamics and morphologies of foams due to the effects induced by sedimentation and convection. Space laboratories like the International Space Station counter gravity with their orbital motion around the Earth and offer an ideal platform to study them. Foams are not very stable on Earth because the liquid between bubbles flows downwards. As a result, the liquid film around the bubbles become very thin, the bubbles start to break and the foam collapses. Experiments were performed in the ISS. The experiment was called foam stability and it was shown that, contrary to Earth, the foams were very stable in microgravity just because they remain wet. And it was even possible to make foams with pure water. In space, the complex interactions between gases and liquids forming the foams can be better studied than under the force of gravity, thus allowing a better understanding of their kinetic, dynamic and morphological evolution. We can thus obtain better information to set the most optimal conditions to produce and assemble products containing foams as well as to more effectively and efficiently suppress foams through anti-foam agents. To improve our understanding of foam's behaviour and to enhance our food manufacturing processes, we performed a microgravity experiment where we studied milk protein samples dispersed in water to see if they create foam and how stable bubbles are. The stability of the bubbles is key to the consumer's sensorial experience and it determines also the shelf life of a number of food and beverage products. We want to make a near to perfect bubble in order to achieve the right balance for different products in our range. Not too big, not too small. To make fine coffee froth that is light and creamy, we want to create stable little bubbles. Thanks to this experiment, we discovered that we could improve the foam properties in terms of foamability and foam stability using tailor-made aggregated proteins. And the study helped us to create better air bubble in beverage applications such as cappuccino, but also dairy, ice cream and pet food application, achieving the right texture and consistency. It was, for our business, a game changer. Numerous industrial applications can benefit from Frome's R&D in space. Cleaning, cosmetic, firefighting products and medicines are just some examples. Food and beverages industries can also take advantage to enhance their quality, texture, taste and shelf life from the supermarket to the consumer's fridge. Foams can also be metallic. In that form, they have incredible structural characteristics and have incredibly light specific weight. Microgravity R&D can help enhance their production processes, from the construction of aerospace structures to new shielding systems for medical radiology diagnostics instruments. Now you know that space can help further study foams to enhance production processes and products quality on Earth. Do take advantage of the opportunities and capabilities that are available for your research and development to further grow and extend your achievements. Do take the next step, the step to space. We did it already. <laughs>